Are you measuring your volumes precisely in science? Well, let's put it to the test. So sometimes I'll ask students to measure me out a hundred millilitres of a volume of a particular liquid. And they will pick a beaker to do that job. But in fact, a beaker is not a measuring device for volumes of liquids. This scale on the side is only an approximation of how much liquid is actually in there. So, according to this, there is a hundred millilitres of this green water inside this beaker. Take a look. Bang on the hundred millilitre mark. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is transfer this hundred millilitres of liquid into a smaller beaker, which is a 250 milliliter beaker. Of course, I won't be able to get every drop in, but I'll do my best. There we go. So the new volume is just over 100 milliliters. Take a look for yourself. Not quite the same as it was before. The smaller beaker does not agree with the larger beaker. It's actually saying that the original volume is more than 100 millilitres. So now I'm going to transfer the liquid that was in my beaker into a measuring cylinder, which is the correct instrument to measure out volumes of liquid in science. Let's see how many millilitres was in the beaker. Are we going to get to 100? Not sure. Keep going. Oh, right, every drop. Okay, so I would say that was pretty much 96 millilitres. Four millilitres out. Take a look for yourself. So according to the measuring cylinder, I actually measured out 96 millilitres, not 100. The moral of the story is never use a beaker to precisely measure out volumes of liquid.